That time for his last Pokemon. Much better now that I'm on par with the team at least. Whopping Pikachu. So no, it's that thing that it'll be the opposite of my starter. Gonna try to not to act like all the battle. You know, even though the Pikachu's not the right terror type for it. I don't get the stab, so this is my terror type. Nice! I get the Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get dangerous for you, maybe. Pikachu. One hit. Great. Just what I didn't want happening. Have the brain bird here, Jim. Yes, I beat him. So I'm, so I'm doing, but I did it. Finally, I can advance the How strong you have grown. 13 grain, nice. Well now, Master Abram, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, my- Well, no fucking duh! Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can have the guess to, as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia set on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you were there lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as your kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child, it surely is you. As an educator, shame me to burn one of my students with such a task. So please, just meet Cassiopeia and take on, on the big boss of Team Store and win. Well, you can, like always, leave it to me. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, I'm excited to see you. 
It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. Our community is investigating reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. Oh, spam. A, a stunkies behind? Ahem. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the school you would have to go. I'm counting on you, Master Avon. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be appointed to the chairwoman of the, uh, this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no! Anything but that, I know you! Heal up really quickly. Oh, let's go to Aegon Cassiopeia. Finish on this. Even. Not exactly hiding yourself, but okay. Thanks for coming. Hello, Penny. <laughs> this may be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassie up here, and they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those team store that he's outside of school that time, the idea of stop for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills to get us a hold as much as to get a hold of I feel them to get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After my operation started, I came I came to eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But there's still a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I'm ready. Thanks. God damn it, Clive. I mean, Clavel. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology this time had me here. I mean, preparation took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so is you after all. Ah, uh, I know. No, I mean. Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I'm a task for you, Clef, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Teamstar. 
They didn't see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, we'll do. You know, I made it to myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. You're challenged by Team by Penny of Team Star. I'll go back in the battle. I'll say true Team Star's code. Okay, that's not gonna do it. Oh. There's that. First Pokemon down. Here it is. Come on out. You're the only Pokemon I got that has water type move. Dinner, Clarion. Ow, dick. Good. Now, if I hit, I will uh, be there. Good. Team. I should have figured though that they'd have an EV evolution team. Which. Pikachu. I do like that, though. Yeah, I have a feeling that's gonna happen. You get to have your shit time in the sun now. That's 
gonna do a whole lot of nothing. I can't fault you on your bounce skills at all. No wonder the boss will fell at your hand. Time to turn after life. Shine brightly with Story Sky and become who you really want to be. <laughs> Are you really? She couldn't even she could barely hold on to the fucking Halo Wolf. She's supposed to be the big boss of the fucking team store. It's all over now. Fifteen thousand, nice. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We got carried away with all operation store. Now everything's gone out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, we merely did merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon, they just blow it and apologize a whole lot. I don't think they must have spoken good. Who can do that? But the police made a huge thing about what went down, and they all, then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan, plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little sound might have put us up the creek. I'll pick this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Stars. I dragged you all into this. You want to take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the boys are gone, you guys should start going back to going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we, were ne we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like that? Like we'll never speak again. I need to get go take care of some things. Prithee, Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Avum. And YouTube's live. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is if Team Store and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Store? Wasn't there an, uh, any other way to handle this? I charged on bosses that we were done once before, but they didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I can never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The boss must have taken it very seriously. They did. 
That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do everything, uh, do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of all questions to all follow. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends and the team mean to you? Bear. They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for advising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You creep me out. Indeed. Well then, before you talk further, allow me to reveal my true my identity. Real. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha <laughs> ha! Directly close. How did that fool you, dumbass? Just as Cassiopeia with your disguise, the boy you knew was Clive's mine. But, but why? I needed to talk a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students tend to shy from speaking of the mind to teach it. After all, much more so when speaking to the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wouldn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <clears throat> that, well, that's quite enough of that for now. Evan, why don't you come on out? There'll be all Team Star behind her. Huh? Yo, boss, long time no see. Momo? Well, like, long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily, is thy long hidden countenance a sight for so eyes, my lady? Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny? How have you been this whole time? Forty. Well, we found you at that. You've no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Kathy or Penny. Pia, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. But I still don't- I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first dates at the Academy, Days of the director, all I've ever experienced is the academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now, but I now know this piece is built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to uh, things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The academy is ordered for Team Sword to disband, and my threat to expel those who do not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star continue, can continue doing this, should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But, but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Xavelle tells us all about it. But as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to hit this band has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. I'll make quite a few examples. You for your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modifications and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. 
like, what? Death and punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yeah, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the FTPs. And that stands for... Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' towns. <laughs> Attempt to the academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Avon battling his way through your bases. The basic construction of a row for Team Star attacks, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students at Team Star, was remarkably unique and creative. I would ask you to continue your team activities, but henceforth as the STC staff members using your former base for training these facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no. Sounds like it sounds like fun. I see. So I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, since the SEC would probably be a punishment at all. But you should look, you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We must happily have you at our side, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. <clears throat> this would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Avon, what do you think? Give it your best. Oh, but, but I just... There's no need to give you a response right this moment if any do take some time to decide. For now at least, I think our little group should go to their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should bring up Team Star. After all, I simply mean it's time to leave. Master Raven, please stop my on uh, my elevator if you would. Did they at least heal my team up? Yes. Let's go to the news office first. Visit our favorite teacher of the faculty. Hello, nurse. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Raven, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe it, but I passed the health teacher certification exam. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure, and that really inspired me. But, of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. Hehe! <laughs> Thank you for giving me the push I needed to try again, Avon. Mag- Ooh! Those are gonna come in handy! But, they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. Fair enough. Well, I guess I'll keep beating Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait, though. I'll be sitting in front of a class at this academy before you know it. And I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. <laughs> blah, 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 stupid ads on the When people want to watch me on YouTube, Uh, there's a ad playing on Spotify, which only my live audience can hear right now. Ah, here you are, Master Avon. I want to thank you for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, for you I suspect I would have done the team a grave injustice of my own punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Knocking on the door. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the SSCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I, I think it should be more pu punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not because of that. <coughs> no, sorry. No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LPA I gave you both in exchange for helping with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it, in, sort of illegally, by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see, that is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard, uh, I mean, I'm really sorry, I won't do it again. This, is a matter of, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult with Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. 
I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Avum, but I'll have to ask you again with some privacy. Thank you. 